I think my parents came to the United States after the fall of Saigon in 1975. And they came with, I think not more than an elementary school education. So for me, I think it's more of that piece, being a second generation uh, American, with coming with that immigrant experience, um, trying to a culture, you know, the acculturation stress, trying to please your parents, um, navigating two different cultures, you know, Asian, Eastern versus Western, where, you know, in one arena, and th these are very broad strokes, but in one arena, typically, you know, it's more interdependent, communal families live together. Um, and then on the other end, the Western aspect being wanting to be more independent. And so there's, there's always that back and forth as a, so, you know, I, I didn't know what graduate school was growing up. My parents didn't know, I didn't know. We didn't know anything about, about needing to, you know, luckily I, I was, placed into honors level classes, but my parents didn't know, nor could they afford any extracurricular activities that are typical of um, Asian Americans, like violin lessons, or, you know, this is, again, very broad strokes, but um, I did like bands, so I was in the marching band and the color guard, um, but that's because I had friends that were doing it, and so, you know, I, I've, I always tell people a lot of my journey has been dumb luck um, combined with a lot of tenacity. And <laughs> you know, I've had friends. I've had. I've been very lucky with the people that I've that I've run into in my schooling and my career that have supported me. Um, primarily, a lot of strong, independent women. 